Hi, Chris Betcher here with some tips on working with shapes in Google Slides. First tip is making shapes. So you've got some tools across the top here for making different shapes. You can do text boxes or images or shapes or lines. I want to talk about shapes. Under the shapes option, you've got four categories, shapes, arrows, callouts, and equations. And within each of those categories, you've got a whole bunch of choices to pick from. So the, to make a shape, pick the one you want, click on it, hold your mouse down, drag, and you've just made a shape. That's pretty straightforward. Once you've got a shape, you can click on the paint bucket up here to change its internal color. That's called the fill. Or you can click on the little pencil tool to change its outside shape, which is called the border or the outline. And you can change the color there. Um, once you've got an outline on something, you can choose to make it thicker if you want. You've got all different sizes there. And you can even change the style of it so it could be dotted or dashed or some combination of the both. Or if you don't want the outline at all, you can go to the border color and actually make it transparent so it doesn't actually have a border at all. That's how you make a shape. Second thing is making perfect shapes. So sometimes you want the square to be actually square or the oval shape to be actually circular. Uh, what you can do is when you make that shape, so let's go to the rectangle for a second, hold down the shift key and when you drag that and then let go of the shift key and the arrow and you'll see you've made a perfect square. Same logic applies to say this oval tool here, Oops, oval tool, if I do that, hold down the shift key, drag, I get a perfect circle. And the same applies to pretty much any one of the shapes. If I go back here and do say a triangle, I'll get sort of a perfect triangle with all the sides the same length. So the shift key will actually make shapes that are the same, uh, uh, like perfect shapes, squares, circles, uh, equilateral triangles, and so on. The next thing is alignment to the page. You'll notice that I can have an object on the page and I can pick it up and I can move it around. As I move it past the center of the page like that, I get that red line. That's telling me that that's now aligned to the page itself so horizontally, so it's the same amount of space on both sides here. It's right in the middle of the page. If I do the same thing going this way, you'll see I get a red line up and down, and I'm now vertically aligned on the page. And if I can manipulate it so I get both, you'll see that that is now the exact center of the page when I see those both red lines. You can also align objects to other shapes. So this blue shape here, say I want the uh, red shape to be aligned exactly with the blue shape. I can pick it up here and as I drag it, you'll see I get a red line that appears to tell me their centers are now exactly in line with each other. Or if I drag it below, I get their centers aligned that way as well. So I can align shapes with other shapes using those alignment guides. The next thing is shape size guides. So I have two shapes here that are both different sizes. Let's say I want the blue one to be exactly the same dimensions as the yellow one. Well, what I can do is click on that, and as I drag this and I get it close to being the same dimension, you'll notice that those lines appear on the side there that are telling me that they are the same dimension now. So the same vertical height, and if I actually drag that across, you see I can get the same vertical height, or uh, I can get the same horizontal height, or if I get them in the exact right, right position, I can get both. It's telling me that those shapes are identical now. What about if you want more than one shape of the same kind? Well, you could click on it and say Command C or Control C, copy, and Control V or Command V, paste, and I could get two copies of the shape. But there's actually a quicker way. Let me delete that. The quicker way is to hold down, if you're on a Mac, hold down the Option key. If you're on Windows or Chromebook, hold down the Control key. Just simply hold down that key and drag that shape and drag that shape and drag that shape and what you'll do is you'll make a whole bunch of copies simply by dragging it. And by the way, if you create a group of shapes and then option drag those, you'll create yet more duplicated shapes. So it's a nice quick way of duplicating shapes. The next thing is stacking order. I've got three objects on the page here. If I put the blue triangle on top of the yellow square, you can see that the blue triangle does in fact sit on top of the yellow square. If I get this green circle and move it in there and let it go, you'll see that the circle is on top of the yellow square, but below the blue triangle. So uh, you can change the order of those. Now one of the ways to change the order is using the arrange tool here under the order menu. You can bring different objects to the front, bring it to all the way to the back, or you can simply bring it forward one layer or send it backwards one layer. So for example, if I click on the blue triangle and I want to send it back one layer, I would go arrange, order, send backwards, 
and you can see now it's in front of the yellow square but behind the green circle. Now the good sh keyboard shortcut for this is to hold down the command key plus the up and down arrows or if you're on Windows the control key and the up and down arrows. So you can see if I click on that blue triangle and I hold command up it goes to the top and command down it goes to the back. So I can change the stacking order of any objects in my page. The next thing is the manual distribution of shapes. So I can pick up, say I want these objects to be sort of uh, the same width apart from each other. So I can pick this one up and move it like that. When I get the next one, you'll notice I get those little guides that are appearing. Not only the red guide to tell me their centers are aligned, but the blue uh, guides to tell me that the distance between them is identical. And if I keep doing the same thing, you'll notice I get Let's move this out of the way for a second. And you'll get the same distance there, and the same distance there, and the same distance there. So pretty easy to manually distribute the shapes using the distribution guides between them. There is in fact another way to do that, and that is, here's the same shapes. Let me select them all by dragging my mouse across them like so. Go to the Arrange menu and say Align them vertically. So I want their top middle or bottom, let's do the top. So they're now all aligned to the top, but now I want to distribute them. So I go distribute, I want to do this uh, horizontally, and so now they're distributed horizontally. Some of the shapes you'll drag out when you go to the shape creation tool, and you notice you've got tons of them, some of them when you drag them out you'll notice have this little yellow diamond, like that one. This one has a little yellow diamond there, this one has one there, this one has one there. Some of the other shapes we used before do not have those yellow diamonds. What they mean whenever you see that yellow diamond is you can modify this shape. So I can click and I can change in this case the radius of the corners. In this one here I can click that and change the thickness of the, uh, the, the sign. In this one here I can change the smile to a frowny. And in this one here I can change the box to be a different style of box. So modifying shapes wherever you see the little yellow diamond shape. The next thing is rotating shapes. Whenever you click on an object, you notice it has this little stem at the top here. Grab it by the blue circle on top of the stem and you can rotate those shapes. So you can make a shape point wherever you want. And by the way, you notice this, tri this um, arrow here has a little yellow diamond and we can in fact use that to modify the shape as well. This one has two little diamonds so we can do all sorts of crazy things there with the, the style of that arrow. Last couple of things, grouping shapes. If you've got two shapes and you want to put them together, we could in fact, let's do this. Let's rotate this around a little bit so it's like that. And let's take that black shape and put it there so we make a little Pac-Man. If you now drag your mouse across both shapes so they're all selected, you can say Arrange, Group, and that now treats that both those two shapes as a single group. If I pick up one, I move everything. So that's grouping shapes together. And the last example is just sort of combining all these ideas together. Um, let's take uh, all these shapes. Let's take this one here and put that right there like that. So it's aligned to the center of that uh, big triangle, but it's in front. So I want to send it to the back. So I'll go arrange, order, send to back. So now it's behind. I'll take this shape here and sit that right there. Make sure it's aligned. Great. And you can see we're starting to put our Christmas tree together. We'll sit these baubles all over the tree like so. And uh, maybe one more just there. And then we'll take our star, sit our star on the top. It's all aligned down the center. And then we'll grab our mouse, drag it all across the top and say arrange, group. And so now our Christmas tree is a single object that we can move around without worrying about it falling apart. Hope that helps.